Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to fix the JSON exception expected literal value at character some uh, number it will give in your Android app code or in the Java code basically. So let's begin. First, we create a new project. We can name it anything and JSON exception error app. And we should think I'll leave it as it is and click finish and wait for the environment to load. So first, I will reproduce the error in my uh, particular code. And for that, what I have done is I will I have just done a quick Google of sample JSON uh, file or code, and uh, the first thing itself provides me a couple of JSON. So I'll just use this JSON and I'll introduce some error and show you how we can reproduce this issue. So say for example, I shall create a class variable not over here. Sorry about that. Over here, private string. So this will be like my string JSON. And over here, I'll use the JSON what I have just now copied from here. But this is the correct JSON, so it will work out. So what I'll do is, say for example, at the end also, after red, the color red, I'll introduce one comma here, which is an error because at the end it doesn't expect any comma over here. So once I've introduced that, and then I will try to reproduce the issue while converting this string JSON into a JSON object. So I'll create another method. Say for example, click white button read JSON. So this method I'm just creating uh, as a public void so that I can call it as a on create attribute on uh, in the on create method on click my method of a button. So once this method is created, I think my app has, my environment is also loaded. So I'll just start my emulator in parallel on the right hand side, and I'll continue the code. So what I have to do to reproduce this error is to create a JSON object out of this particular string, which is basically json object and the string what i can give is the string json yeah so it's giving some i think it will ask me to do a try catch so just do that not a problem and also i'll do one thing i'll print the output of this in a text view so let me go to the layout quickly now i don't think i need the left hand side the layout they already give a text view so i'll keep it as it is i'll use this i'll do one thing i'll increase the size of this okay so my the military has also come up in parallel, that's fine. And size of this I'll increase from probably to 24. So and I'll just move it a bit up. I'll also put a button to trigger that. So and I'll name this button as say for example, read JSON, give it some constraints, and in the on click attribute of this button, I'll add that particular method. What I've just not defined, so button read. I think I can minimize the uh, emulator for a time being. Yeah, so that's all from my layout perspective. I'll go back to the Java code and here I'll create one more class variable for the text view. Text view, which I will in my on create method, I'll define it this way. Now I'll use this text view to print or to set the no not the show clock I'm not sure from where it, that thing came text view dot set text and here I can read something from JSON object say for example get a string and one of the strings could be probably fruit I can print right so I'll be expecting the output as apple over here so if I print fruit yeah and also in case there is an error so what I can do is I can instead of showing the error just print it again in the text view set text e dot to string perfect so that's all let me read on the app and see so i'm expecting this should show an error in this you should go in exception and this line is to print the exception which it shows so yeah and then we'll correct this particular comma so this is a small error we have introduced to reproduce the issue first so let me see how it comes up Yeah, so app is still loading up in the emulator. In the meantime, the string shall clean up in my code. So let me start running the app again. Let's see what happens this time. So app is coming up. Ah, so it came up this time. So let me click on this. Perfect. So if you can see. 
we get that error what we expected right so just an exception and expected literal value at character some character it depends on the length of your thing so basically this particular comma at the end of the json is the problem so now what i'll do is i'll correct it i'll just remove this and rerun the code and this time i expect it to give no error and give the right results which is basically the reader string of fruit which is apple over here so apple is what i'm expecting here so let me see how it comes up and perfect so it is not is yeah so i introduced the uh, issue uh, intentionally but however in your actual json there could be some and uh, there could be error so what i will strongly suggest you can there are lots of online tools where you can check whether your json is correct or not before using it in your java code or some code so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye